My new paint studio needs a table, but we're very short on space. So this one will hinge to the wall, pop up and drop down as needed. This is where my folding table will go. There's a space here about 16 inches. I want it hinged on the wall so I can bring my desk up and out and then drop it back down when I'm not using it. So this video will show you how my husband Matt is going to install that for me. Of wood, he's gonna build an L-shaped table. Okay, um, these it? are about um, one inch and he's asked what? It's half inch. It's a half inch and it looks to be about 16 this way and it's not gonna be able to be this long. I wish the desk could be this long, but it's not going to be. So he's gonna build an L-shaped desk these are gonna be on hinges, and I believe these were actually guards for, yeah, patio security guards. We've got two of those. Honey, I'm making a video. I'm filming. And then we've got some L brackets. I don't have any idea what those are for or these things. I know what the level is for, though. There are some hinges here, and you know, some heavy duty screw um, hinges. They're called heavy duty ones. They're gate hinges. They're gate hinges. I don't know what they're for, but we're gonna find out here in just a few moments when he stopped talking. These table saws, you're gonna need a hand drill. Probably gonna need one of these. Um, this is not a table saw. What is this, a hand saw? It is a skill saw. It's a skill saw. You're gonna need one of those. What's she looking for? Lag bolts. What are lag bolts? bolts? Lag bolts. Here's the plan. This is the space. Um, the idea is that if we hinge it, the table will come up as an L, kind of like this, and the bottom part will fold underneath the window here. But I don't always need a table because a lot of times I'm painting. But there are times when I come out here and I bring my computer or I set up my ring light and I do my lives out here. I do my interviews since this is my new studio space, I'm gonna need a tabletop surface. And the one that I have right here that I've been working on for years is a $5 garage sale and it's covered in paint splat. Not that that's not pretty cool in itself, um, but I'm gonna see and then Matt is going to show you all of the supplies and we're gonna see if we can get this done. Neither one of us have ever built something like this, um, but we will see and we just thought, well, we'll just film it because if it turns out fantastic, then we should share, right? Because we're like that. We're just those kind of people. So I know that you just got back from Lowe's with all the supplies. So tell everybody what you bought. Okay, this is shelving. It's pine. It's half inch thick. It's just raw wood because we're going to paint it. So I ended up buying two pieces because we're going to make an angle. So I had to get two pieces. Um, okay. Didn't know what we were going to do for the legs. So I walked around Lowe's for like a million years and then finally found something I thought would work. It's retractable. It's actually a patio security guard. You put it in windows and doors. And I was thinking it already has the hinge up here where we can mount it underneath the bottom and fold it up and down as we Very need to. Cool. Okay. Did you even know there was such a thing? And then we have just some brackets that we can get the, the tops put together with. I got some L shaped brackets. But seriously, what are these for? I don't know. They're get flat it. brackets. What we'll do is when we cut the table at an angle, then underneath we'll put brackets so we'll keep oh, it all together. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gotta have you. screws. These are number eights by half inch. Gotta have small because you don't want them coming through the top. And then we also have some eight by three quarter screws. These are all machine screws. Okay. Or not machine screws, but uh, wood screws, Phillips head. Okay. So you need those. Okay. Um, we yeah, try, to, try to figure out how to hinge it on the wall and we need something sturdy. So we came up with uh, gate hinges. Okay. So, oh, so this will be attached to the wall. This will be attached to the wall with, and then it attaches to the table. And it'll come off the wall the and desk. up and then, okay, I got you. I got you, bro. And we have some long lag screws for, what? for the for wall. The wall You're gonna put those in the brackets okay. and mount okay. to the wall. And then for tools, all we need is a speed square. Okay. Whatever that four is. Foot level, four foot level. I know what that is. Skill saw. Okay. Not to be confused with the table saw. And a drill. And a drill. I have one of those. Oh, and a pencil. And a pencil for marking. Gotta have a pencil. And you need a cute husband. Not really. 
You don't have to have a cute husband. That wasn't very nice. You can do this no matter what. And then do we need all this or is this no, just your handy no, dandy tool bag? All right, awesome. Well, let's get started on pumps. Okay, so you've taken the two pieces, put them together in an L-shaped. Yeah, I cut, them in a, I cut them at a 45 degree angle once I got my measurements. Cut them, now the L brackets are gonna keep it all together. Okay, keep it square. Mm-hmm, got you. Hey, honey, are you sure you did that right? Huh? Are you sure you did that right? Yeah, I got it. I'll put. Okay, I'm just messing with you. to install him he's installing I'm watching these legs that are hinged and the reason we're gonna put them both down on this end is because I want all of this space for a leg room when the table is propped up so it'll be standing up and then there will be one and two change our design. Our original plan was to put one of these legs over here and one over here. However, when we were just constructing it on the table over there, I asked if we could put both of them over here. And he did that originally, but then it left a little bit of wobbliness and wiggliness going on over here. So now we have them one over here towards the corner and up front there, and it's completely solid. So now, um, really, all that I have left to do is grab my Dark and Decrepit from DIY Paint, and I'm going to stain this baby, and it works perfectly. Like, they hinge right there, and they fold up, and you have these little brackets here. Look. This little bracket here. And so my hand in the end of Matthew is going to show us exactly how that works. And it clips up in there. And you want to do the other one, honey, and then we'll drop it back down. And then we're done. And then I have all that space back in my room when I need the space for painting or whatever project I'm doing. Um, so it's time for me to grab the dark and decrep it. I applied a product called Dark and Decrepit from DIY Paint. It's a top coat stain liquid patina and it's fantastic. It's so super easy to use and I love the way that it looks on the table with the silver industrial style hardware. This project only took one hour. Now that's my kind of project.